Addressing the lies surrounding me in the Gabby Hanna situation. Part 1. It's been like three weeks since this whole thing happened, and I can't believe I have to do this, but I definitely have to address some of the lies that are still going around. The first lie I want to address is that I broke in. I clearly didn't break in, and everybody's seen the video on my page of me asking to use the bathroom. And there's another video of me clearly using the bathroom, so obviously that wasn't a lie. So a lot of people are talking about something called false pretenses. False pretenses only occurs when you actually go into a property and then commit some other crime, which I clearly didn't do. After I used the bathroom, she invited me to stay for coffee, and I know that in some of her videos she said that I was asking her to stay, but none of that's true. She asked me to pray, she asked me to go on a run, she asked me to stay for coffee, she asked me to go upstairs. She never told me any of those things that she said in her videos. Now for lie number two. Anybody trying to say that I doxed her or put her information online, it all comes up with a simple Google search. It's actually the first result. And there's a bunch of pictures of her house online already. Nothing that I put out there wasn't already online. Doxing requires you to reveal previously unknown information. And the last thing I want to address in this video is my criminal record. People were pulling up this image of me from 10 years ago. I'm originally from Texas and I got arrested for weed. And that's something that a lot of people have done. And I don't think that makes me a bad person. People were making up all sorts of lies about kidnapping charges and things of that nature, but I don't know what they're talking about, and none of that is true. Stay tuned for part two. Addressing the lies about me, part two. Again, I can't believe I have to keep doing this, but there's still videos being posted on YouTube every day by people that don't know what they're talking about. I missed this in the last video when I was talking about doxing, but I wanted to talk about the license plate real quick. People are saying that I posted her license plate and that's some sort of identifying information, but it was just in the background. You can't even really make out what it says. And second of all, you can't even get any information from a license plate, at least in the United States. And also, she posted her own license plate in a much more identifying way than I did. Next, I want to address why I'm still talking about this. There's literally YouTube drama channels posting stuff every other day, still uploading videos every day about me and with my face. But they don't have the full story. I'd love to move on, but if people are still actively spreading misinformation about me, I have to address it. Stay tuned for part three.